We've all heard of the consumer brand Sunrise over the dinner table, but on the table today is the listed entity, Rice Growers, controlling the Sunrise Group. Sunrise is a global fast-moving consumer goods business and one of Australia's leading branded food exporters. Ahead of appearing at the Ag Food Conference, I'm joined by Chief Financial Officer Dimitri Cortellas. Dimitri, welcome to the Stock Network. Thank you, Lyle. It's good to be here. Dimitri, Sunrise was built by the Australian rice industry over over many decades, but is now a consumer-focused global food group with a number of businesses. Where do you currently derive revenue from? Sunrise is a, a business that's almost 75 years old. And um, whilst we started in the heart of the Riverina in Australia, we're now a, a very diversified uh, global rice food business. And um, you know, with adjacencies in our subsidiaries, uh, we operate in over 50 countries around the world. We've got uh, strategic supply sources across about uh, 12 or 13 different uh, jurisdictions and um, about four vertically integrated operating um, presences in Australia, New Zealand. Uh, Sun Foods is our Californian presence uh, in the US as well as Vietnam. And uh, you know, looking to leverage that position globally and generating revenue uh, pretty much from, from, from all continents around the globe. Fantastic. And looking to future growth, Sunrise has built a diversified business revenues in, of more than $1 billion and also global operations, supplying more than 50 countries. Which businesses do you believe will fuel the company's growth in the future? Certainly flexing more so into our international operations. Um, as we've discussed, we, we do have a significant presence in a number of countries around the world. So leveraging those existing relationships more products on shelves in um, a number of the uh, positions that we have across retail and, and food service, not just across ANZ, but across the globe as well. And then, of course, leveraging our, our subsidiaries as well with regards to our cop price uh, business, which is our animal nutrition business. And uh, following the trends such as the humanization of pets is something we've been working on over the last few years. So we'll, we'll look to you know, push that one further. And then Riviana, another subsidiary with our imported products, that uh, artisanal um, European flavor of, of food and, and cafe style food and snacks, and uh, look to potentially onshore some of those capabilities going further. Uh, and then across the, the rice businesses globally as well, certainly a lot more space with uh, expanding our product lines and portfolios. Uh, in those jurisdictions that we operate. And finally, Dimitri, when it comes to sustainability, what are the key sustainability related deliverables flowing on from your commitment to both the UN Sustainable Development Goals and also your own ESG commitment? Sustainability really is uh, part of who we are. Um, out of necessity, when you think of growing rice in Australia with the water availability, it's not uh, a natural obvious equation which is why out of necessity, our growers are amongst the, the most uh, water efficient rice growers in the world. So using technologies like drill sowing of, of seed as opposed to the more traditional aerial sowing of seeds are some of the technologies that we've developed. And we look to leverage that across our supply chain. So moving that up into uh, the Mekong Delta with our Vietnamese growers and operations and, uh, and globally as well, wherever we have a, a footprint. So really leveraging that position. And then of course, um, we're developing our science-based targets is another area. So we're looking to submit those initiatives uh, to the SBT uh, later this calendar year. Um, in addition to other areas like um, signing up with APCO on our commitment to um, packaging in Australia. Sustainability really has been a, a key component of, of who we are and what we do and, and has been for, for quite some time now. Absolutely, Dimitri, thank you for the update. And I look forward to following Sunrise's developments. Thank you, though.